Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, and we are now beginning our E3 2019 coverage. I know the EA, you know, state of play or whatever it was, was yesterday, and they showed off, you know, uh, Star Wars and all these other things. Um, I'm not a big fan of the EA company, so I don't like to promote them. I don't want to promote them. So even if they make a good game, even though it's like Respawn or other companies working on that Star Wars stuff, uh, I'm still not going to give it the, my time of day or my money. Um, that's just, I believe in speaking with my money when it comes to stuff like that. So EA doesn't get a promotion from me. Uh, but Xbox, definitely does. I'm a big Xbox fan. I've been an Xbox player for many, many years, ever since the first Xbox console, and uh, and I'm excited for this press conference. I know one thing about this press conference, and that was uh, for uh, Cyberpunk 2077. So when we get there, you know, my reaction probably won't, you know, I won't have as genuine of a reaction because I kind of know one thing that's happening in it because I saw it on Twitter, uh, but I didn't see any of the visuals, so at least I'll be shocked by the visuals, uh, but for the most part, I know one little thing about it. So I don't want to waste too much time here because we're probably going to talk throughout the uh, the conference here. So without further ado, let's start this up. Uh, we're going to watch this on the GameSpot trailers, and I will put a link to the full video down below. Obviously, this channel is not monetized or anything like that, so hopefully everything's safe for me to use and it doesn't get blocked or anything like that. Um, so here we go. We're going to hit play, and we'll start talking about all the E3 stuff. And I'm excited. So as you know, I am going to be at E3, and we will be... Um, I'll be on the floor Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I got to work Tuesday morning, but I'll get there like Tuesday afternoon. And um, and we will. Uh, I'll cover. Uh, there's a couple games I definitely want to cover, like Control and Sinking City. Uh, I want to try to get those two games in on Tuesday. But on Wednesday and Thursday, I'm going to try to hit like one or two panels each day, and then I'm going to, you know, try to get my hands on any of this stuff that I can. So if there's anything you see here that I react to today. Um, you know, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of it, if you want to see me get hands-on, uh, you know, demo play of it or whatever they have at E3, uh, let me know because I'll be stopping by all these booths and I kind of want to know what content you all want to see. So let me know in the comments below so I can, that kind of guides me into, uh, you know, forward into finding out what kind of content I should make. Because I, you know, being there at E3 for, t you know, it's only two days long or three days, count Thursday, but I'm only going to be there a few hours on Thursday. But uh, the problem with that is that, uh, it's, uh, there's only so much time I have. I'm one person, one camera, one setup, you know, so it's, it's hard for me to cover everything. So I want to know what specifically you guys want for me to cover, and I'll do my best. All right, Rizzo's. Look at the vistas. So sweet. Bottling planet. Bottling. Security in a senseless and chaotic world. This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the Halcyon. galaxy. Halcyon. Stellar. Operated by corporations. Stellar Bay. Everything we have, everything we are, hmm. we owe to them. What? Pancakes! The taste of freedom. They're always with us. That's cool. No one has ever gone against them. Very propaganda y. Some of those posters. A stranger has oh, just sorry. arrived. Someone who's challenging the corporate war. Oh. Someone who's digging up their secrets. And who might this be? This is kind of cool. I mean, I, I don't know what it is. A villain. Is it Borderlands? Or a hero. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. <laughs> or a psychopath. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Pre-order today or play with Xbox Game Pass at launch. Dropkick. Wow, so at launch, if you have the Xbox Game Pass, you can play this, huh? I suppose time will tell, but no matter who this stranger chooses to be, the Halcyon Colony... Huh. Will never be the same. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Obsidian Entertainment. Oh, okay. I um, I like sci-fi in video games. Movies, I'm like, I'm really nitpicky about sci-fi in movies. Uh, but in video games, I'm actually like more, way more open to sci-fi in video games. The Outer Worlds. Oh, cool. That looks pretty cool. October 25th. Wow, it comes out this year. Yeah, I heard Xbox is going to be releasing, like, showing off a lot of stuff um, at this. So, a lot of, obviously, you guys have all seen this, hopefully, already. Um, 
Ronnie oh, from Ninja Theory. And if you haven't watched this without me talking over it and you want to, please click the link below and watch it at GameSpot Trailers and watch it there. And then come back here if you want to hear me, you know, kind of talk over it. Um, but we're going to, yeah, we're going to sit here and watch the whole hour and a half. But anything that I don't have a big reaction to, I might edit out. You know, so we'll see where it goes. A move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the Ninja Theory is cool. I, I, like the, I actually like that company a little bit. I think they did the remake of Devil May Cry, and I know everyone hates that. I don't we'll like it more than the original Devil May Cry, but DMC, yes. I think, is kind of a fun game. We'll Xbox game people studios, hate me when I say that. I'm sorry. If you hate me, I'm sorry. Exciting game it's a fun game. Several years it's not as good as the other Devil May Cry's, but it's a fun game. We're happy to return to E3 to share this with you. All right, what do we got? As creative director, I'm stoked to be here to share our new game with you guys. It combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat okay. and competitive team multiplayer. Our okay. technical alpha is kicking off in just a couple of weeks. As you know, if you watch my channel on Twitch and stuff, like and the few times I game nowadays, I used to game a lot more. Um, Come and join us I typically play single player a games. Really, Not a, a really lot of uh, like online Check multiplayer stuff. This is Bleeding Edge. Um, but I'm willing to give anything a try if it looks cool. Bleeding Edge from Ninja Theory. Okay. Was Ninja Theory the one that did. Devil May Cry? Maybe they didn't. I might be completely wrong about that. Four on four versus online melee. Oh, is this like a Smash Brothers? Demon, Makuda, Buttercup. Um, play with Xbox Game Pass or watch. Man, they're really revving up that Game Pass. From, yeah, Devil May Cry. Okay, they did. The DMC one. Um, right, okay. So it's a fighting game or like a... You know what reminds me of a little bit is... um. Did you ever... Do you remember the game Gotham City... Imposters? I think it was? I loved that game. It was like a four-on-four... -four online multiplayer game where you were either a, a Batman imposter or a Joker imposter and you kind of like roller skated around and like punched and kicked each other and shot weird weapons at each other. Um, that's what that kind of reminds me of a little bit. So I don't know if I'm excited about I mean I like the Batman version because it had Batman to it but that Bleeding Edge I don't know. Meh. Oh, someone's happy about this. <laughs> Yeah, a little one. One person in the audience is like, I know what this is! <laughs> oh, it's Ori and the Will of the Wisps. So, we played this on my channel, and I th <laughs> I think I, I rage quit. Uh, I was, it was, it was getting late one night, and uh, I can't remember if there was someone in the chat that was just like, you know, getting to me. I was letting them get to me, and it was bothering me. And then I... And then I was like, all right, you know, you're, you're banned or whatever. And, uh, which I don't do too often, but I, I, yeah, I do sometimes. Um, and, um, and, but anyway, I got stuck on this part and I, I would, and like I said, I was tired at this point. So I was cranky and I just, I couldn't do it. And I was like, you know what? We're going to quit for the night. <laughs> like, I was like, we're done for the night. And then, uh, I never went back to the game, but I thought the game looked beautiful. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, the, the stuff we played, but yeah, I just got stuck at this one part and I was like, I'm too tired to finish it. I'm rage quitting. But then, uh, yeah, I never went back to it. So that was like a perma rage quit from me. But uh, I did, yeah, it looks cool. I like side scrolling games like uh, Castlevania type games and Metroidvania, as I guess they call it. Um, but I like that kind of stuff. Especially when they do a really good job with style on it. And Ori has a really unique style. February 11, 2020. Oh, okay. Sweet, sweet. So far, so good. I mean, it's some neat stuff, but they're kind of doing the uh, Sony approach. Sony, that one year, they just like, we're just going to drop trailer after trailer after trailer and have one or two people come out. Um, it looks like that's what they're doing so far. Um, Minecraft. Uh, I work at Lego and we make uh, Lego Minecraft stuff. Um, but, uh, and I've played some of it, actually, but the, um, my favorite thing is zombies. I like doing zombie stuff. 
Um, just like throwing zombies in a map and stuff. So what is it? Is this like an action adventure game in the Minecraft style? Looks like a dungeon crawler. Almost like like old school Zelda or something. That could actually be cool. Because I think there's a lot of really unique designs and characters and stuff in um, in Minecraft. Like the, the skeletons, the zombies, the uh, creepers, and all that stuff. Um, the ender guys, or whatever they're, ender, endermans, or whatever they're called. Uh, the big, um, sleek, lanky, you know, shadowy guys. Um, and the floating heads, and you know, all that stuff. Like, it's pretty cool. They have some neat stuff. So, uh, I think, uh, and, was it ogres they have? Um... They're not ogres, I can't remember what they're called. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that could be cool. So Minecraft Dungeons, okay, I didn't see the Dungeons part earlier. Coming spring 2020. That could be fun. Floor, four player local and online co-op. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, is this Star Wars? Whoa! Hey! Who are you? Hey, uh, whoa. Oh, this is the, the EA one, right. Cal Kestis. Um, Saul Guerrero. Saul Guerrero, man. You're on Jedi business. That's pretty cool. Jedi. So what, this takes place before Rogue One, huh? Hmm. I mean, it's a shame the game looks really good, but... I mean, with the EA banner on it, man, I, I, I don't know, it's hard for me, man. Um, it's hard for me to support it. It does look cool, and I'm, I'm sure Respawn worked their butt off on it. Um, that was like an evil K2SO droid, huh? Scout Trooper. I think I heard about this one. It takes place like after Order 66. The funny thing is, it looks a lot like that uh, Force Unleashed game. Like, um, I mean, there's a couple of new things in there that you can do, but like, you know, throwing the missile back and all that stuff, it's like, yeah, that's, I don't know, I've seen, I've played a, a, almost every Star Wars no, game, um, from the flying simulators to the, the, you know, the 3D action games and the Lego games, um, so, you know, some of that doesn't look that new or impressive to me, but, um, but again, I'm a little, you know, I guess I have a bias, I'm not a big fan of EA, um, but it does, I will say, to give them credit, that does look like a, a really good game, um, I, and I hope it is, I hope it is, because Star Wars fans deserve a good Star Wars game. What is this? Oh, is this another Outlast? Peter Shannon, uh, September 1996. Okay, bullet. Let's find this kid. Hmm. Wait up, Bullet! Bullet! Wait, so you got you're running around with a dog in this game? Where am I? Whoa! Evil trees! Evil trees, guys! Whoa! Dang! This looks kind of cool. You know me, I'm a Resident Evil fan and a horror fan, so. In the corner, wait, isn't that? What was that, what was that movie? It was a, um, oh, blanking, anyway. I thought there was something where there was like someone had to stand in the corner. I know it was a horror movie, but. Oh, um, that, that's what it is. It's Blair Witch. Because <laughs> I was like, wait, what's, what's the movie where someone was, like, standing in the corner? Um, 
And like, that was the Blair Witch movie, so I'm so dumb. Um, oh wow, a Blair Witch game. I actually played that Blair Witch game that came out after the second movie came out. They did a Blair Witch game for the PC. And I played that, and uh, well, I played it. <laughs> uh, but there was aspects of it I kind of liked a little bit. All right, Samurai, huh? And it's a white guy. Cool. The no tell motel. What's up with that dude's head? Oh, uh, uh, it's Cyberpunk. This is Cyberpunk. Okay. Sorry, again, like I said, I'm way out of the loop on stuff, but, um, I think this is Cyberpunk. You got the chip? Oh. All right, start it up, bud. Why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up, we're going to be with you in a minute. Oh, come on, man. Your neck, it's a mess. So what? Aren't you guys doing an illegal deal? That seems weird that you would tell someone to go wait and, like, go wash up. Feels like a double cross. Well, look at his face. Wow, man. So these, like... I guess, like, cybernetically enhanced human beings? Oh. Language. Am I right, Captain America? Language. Oh. Oh, you know he ain't gonna be in Rush Hour 3. Oh. Hey, hey, just think about all Dang. the that we're going to have, huh? I'm oh, sorry. Done, son. You're done. Oh, wow. Hmm. So he lost a friend in a heist? Um. Oh, double cross. What did I say? What did it say? Transaction failed? Whoa! It's like that movie Upgrade. That movie's awesome, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Ooh. Just take the f chip, Dex. Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. Hmm. We didn't need all this tension, damn it. Jeez, the swearing. <laughs> I thought this game was rated E for everyone. No. I know. Come on, dude, fight back. Yeah, there you go. Use those blade arms. Whoa. That's her power? She can retra up. Oh. Done. Dang. Cyberpunk. System rebooting. Kirosh? Wake the f up, Samurai. We have a city to burn. There he is. Dude, so that was the thing I saw. I saw someone say, like, like uh, on Twitter, I went on on my lunch break, I forgot this press conference was happening, and someone was like, Keanu Reeves, let's get it on! And then they put hashtag cyberpunk, so I was like, oh, is Keanu Reeves in that game? So that was the one thing I I knew. Dang, but I didn't know he was actually gonna be here. Dude, that's awesome. Who knew, man, when I saw him in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, like, the career this guy's had, the life this guy's had, oh my goodness. Super nice guy, too. All right. Good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Dang, man. Yeah, I bet nobody was expecting that, dude. That's awesome. I gotta talk to you about something. <laughs> I mean, I gotta talk to you about something. CD Project Red. They have a panel, I think, on Wednesday. I'll try to make it if I can. It's early, but I'll, I'll try to make it there. It's before the show starts. 
Uh, before I can get on the floor, I should say. Back, so I'll, I'll try. The guys from CD Projekt Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. They were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. <laughs> this is where he's like, and it's not I gotta read a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Ex Exposition City to learn what kind of game it is. But that's cool to have Keanu Reeves tell you what kind of game it is. That's kind of cool. Cyberpunk is set in a metropolis of the future where body modification has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but let me tell you, the feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> you're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. <laughs> right. I love that guy's just like, you're breathtaking. I finish it, so tell me. <laughs> Do you guys want to know? Um... When there's uh, when it, the release date? Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, because yeah. I'll be honest, I uh, this game looks good, but I haven't been super. I haven't been part of that. Out. I haven't been part of the hype on it. But right, you know. um, all right, release trailer, huh? Release date trailer. I gotta say, I'm with Keanu Reeves, and I'm way more interested in this game now. I always thought it looked cool, but I'm uh, I'm way more interested now. I love Keanu Reeves. Music's good. Oh, oh, oh. oh, April 16th next year. All right. Right before my birthday. Oh, we'll see. Maybe I'll get a chance to uh, buy for my birthday, like an early birthday gift for myself, and uh, and we'll stream premiere. it. Looks cool. I mean, it does look cool. I always thought the game looked cool, but now I'm seeing Keanu Reeves in there. I'm, like, really excited about the game. What's this? Oh, I like the an uh, the animation style on this. It's pretty cool. Is this like a 2D? Yes, it is. These are the kind of I like these kind of games. They're just kind of mindless fun. I, I get into them. Oh, whoa! You build, huh? That could be cool. Wow, the animation's really neat looking, actually. I know it looks. It look, I don't know. This looks kind of, kind of fun actually. I like the animation a lot though. I think you can be really creative. Like if someone was like, "Hey, see, we want you to come up with a game," it would probably be something along these lines. Surpri it would probably surprise a lot of people. I don't know. It may still be zombie related. <laughs> you know, maybe a two D side scrolling zombie game with like really, you know, over stylized and stuff. But still, it would it would probably look a little bit like this. Um, I'm actually writing a story right now. Uh, for uh, for a friend, or we're we're um, we're working on it. It's something I'm working on, um, but it's uh, it's actually, and he worked on God of War, and so it's like we're spitballing ideas. But I have this one idea where it's like a dog samurai who's protect. It's like Home Alone meets like um, Spirited Away, and it's like this dog samurai. I don't want to go too much into it, but it's a uh, it, it, it's pretty it's very inspired by stuff like this a little bit. Premiere. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I did skip ahead. Sarah Bond came out, talked about Game Pass for a little bit. Thought it was cool stuff, but I decided, yeah, let's skip ahead. And then um, also uh, they brought out uh, Double Fine. They added them to the game studios, which is awesome. And uh, they showed off some Psychonauts too. All that looked great, but I just didn't have big reactions to it. So I figured I'd skip ahead now. And here we are in Star Wars with Lego, which I was like, all right, this is a good stopping point. Let's check this out. Um, as a Lego employee myself, I do like a lot of the games. All nine films, one new game. What? Lego style, uh, Star Wars, the, the Skywalker Saga. Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. Coming 2020. Yeah, I figured they wouldn't release that before episode nine came out, um, if it's going to give away the story. Um, awesome. 
What is this? Ooh. I like the animation. Oh, it's Dragon Ball. That's cool. Whoa. It's like you're missing an arm. Huh. Wow, that's cool. Wow, it's kind of captured that the, the scale of a fight in a Dragon Ball cartoon. Um, it's funny, I didn't really grow up with Dragon Ball. I watched some of it in high school, like near the end of high school when it started airing in the U.S. Um, and I thought it was it was cool, it was fun. But obviously I would constantly make the running joke, that the easy joke to make, which is like, these battles take forever. But I think around Trunks, Trunks I think was the last um, time I stopped. I, I, I Maybe I got a little bit into the Cell Saga, or the Boo Saga, whatever was after Trunks, and then I just kind of fell out of it. I was like, eh, it's just the same thing over and over. But I, I heard a lot of the newer movies that came, like the newest, latest anime movie that came out was really good. And I heard some of the games have been pretty good, so uh, that that's cool. For you Dragon Ball fans out there, I want, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts if, if you like this. Um, oh, it's an action RPG. That... Kakarot. Kakarot. How do you say that? Kakarot? Not a cockroach. Kakarot? Kakarot? World premiere. Um, that looks cool. An action RPG, that could be cool. Annapurna, huh? I've been following that company a little bit lately. Um, I even applied to a couple jobs over there. Um, they look look like they make some fun stuff. Twelve minutes. I have a surprise for you. Okay. <laughs> hmm. You want to guess what it is? It's a mm. present. This Nailed is an it. outfit for a newborn. First try. You bought it this morning. What? You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. What? You know? I know because. You already gave it to me. What? This has happened before. What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. Whoa. Why are you doing this? Talk about... My father... Oh, someone outside. Oh, it was a car. Oh, was it? I, I, I didn't have anything to do with... Any second now, he's going to knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything. We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door right now. You know wow, you this is intense. You have to believe Like, me. talk about sucking you in immediately. You're home. What are you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Is the whole game over, like, from the top down? What the heck is that? An interactive thriller about a man trapped in a time loop. Okay. About, about a man. <laughs> All right, cool. Touche. <laughs> yeah, I was like sitting there going, thinking about Halo and I'm like, I'm sure they're going to show something for Halo, but they're probably going to save it for the end. All the lights will guide you home. Whoa! Huh. Bambi the game? Silent Hill Bambi? Oh, so you have like magic light antlers? Is it an escort game? Like, are you are you leading the little um, deer around? Hmm. 
way to the woods. Huh. Looks kind of cute, I guess, is the word. Um, I like the the animation style, like the cell kind of shaded look to it. Oh, cool. Is this Gears? Um. Whoa. I like the music. Dang, what's happening to her? I, you know, I never finished Gears 4, so... Um. Is this Gears? It might not be Gears. Jeez. Hmm. Yep, gear bound by blood. Is that Gears Five? Was okay. It was Gears Five because I'm like, um, it, I mean, like I don't. I recognize the character, and I think she's from the the fourth game. She's one of the new one new characters, and I think something happens to her towards the end. But I haven't finished the game, so I, I, I that's why I'm a little. I was a little jarred there, but yeah. Um, Thanks everyone. We're excited to announce cool. that Gears Five is releasing on September 10th. Whoa! All right. Wow. And if you want to Get play it this year. four days early, you can. With our Ultimate Edition or membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Game Pass Ultimate gets you four day early access to it. With Gears of War 4, huh. we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. And we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, join us for our Versus Multiplayer Tech Test, where you'll be one of the first to play our all cool. new competitive game type, Arcade. Cool. In August, at Gamescom, go hands-on with the all-new Horde mode and see how character abilities can turn the tide on the So they're not going to have anything here at E3? In September, we return to the biggest Gears campaign ever, where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our launch Kate, on yeah. September 10th. But what are we talking about today? Today, it's a brand new way to fight the swarm. In Escape, you play as one of three Hive Busters. You and your squad hmm. infiltrate the hive, Here's five plant the bomb, and escape with your life. Because we all know the best defense is a good the, offense. The multiplayer on Gears games are really gears. fun. Like the little uh, up, you know, you bonus them. games and stuff are pretty fun and cool. All right, let's check this out. Let's see what they got. Whoa. Is that floor going to open properly? Whoa. Is there someone standing there? No. Not yet, anyway, maybe. Jeez. Whoa! Did the camera just move from the audience into the room here? I'm confused about the geography of this place now. <laughs> um, this might look like a surrender, but right. it's not. It's an invasion. Ooh. Gross. Oh, he's like in a incubation pod or something? Gross. Whoa. What the heck are those things? I really gotta finish the fourth game. It's been so long. Um, my friend uh, Meister did you uh, on Twitch. He actually gifted it to me, the game. And we played like the first like hour or two of it. And then I just never got back to it. And then I, 
I got promoted at LEGO, so I haven't been gaming nearly as much in the last, like, two years. Um, but uh, I got to get back to that. Oh, man. I don't know if the music fits too well, but it's all right. Um, boom. So they were like, oh, you can fight in new ways. And so far, all I see is this green mist. But everything else looks like the same. <laughs> weird it's like it's crazy train obviously i like the song crazy train um but it's like um like a mashup or something hmm. boom oh y'all dead now oh crap so they set up a virus that could kill them too. Yeah. It's a cool little video, that's for sure. Uh, you gotta have the chainsaw in there, man. Escape, coming to Gears 5. So that'll be like a bonus game, I guess. That's cool. I hope you enjoyed your taste of Escape, an aggressive three-player co-op experience, perfect for your living room couch. But it's not just about busting hives. You can build them too. And challenge your friends with the experiences. Do they build this little area of the stage tonight, just to show this game off? These three WWE superstars, what? Xavier Woods, AJ Styles, and Tyler Breeze, to survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the hives. For these at home, for the next two days, you and your friends can play in select Microsoft stores. So good luck hmm. at running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboards. Oh, and for anyone who pre orders or plays within the first week, we've got something special just for you. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, I like Gears of War. Uh, some friends of mine in South Carolina kind of turned me on to that game, and I really like it. It's, it's a really fun series. They also talked about a Gears Tactics and, like, a, a Gears mobile game, Funko Pop mobile game. Um, and... I don't know what I saw a little bit of the mobile game. It didn't really look that interesting to me. I like playing mobile games a lot now. But uh uh What? What? You get a Terminator character pack if you pre-order gears? That's I don't know, that's kind of cool. Well, because humanity was and is worth saving. Next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. All right, so we skipped ahead a little bit. We just missed this Project Scarlet thing. I skipped over that. And then, like, Borderlands and a couple other things. Um, but there's this is it. This is Halo. This is the end of the press conference. So I was like, this is what I want to see. The other stuff I had a reaction to, but not a big reaction. But they're saying that Halo Infinite is going to be a launch title for the Xbox Scarlet, the new system. So... That's exciting, actually. It's a reason to get the console, for me at least. Um, and hopefully all the other Halos will be backwards compatible so I don't have to keep my Xbox One around. Whoa. So this is Halo Infinite, huh? Thank goodness. <laughs> you did it, dude. Wake up. You did it. So I'm curious what happened, because Halo 5, I I'm a little bit of a defender of Halo 4 and 5, uh, the story of the campaigns. Uh, 4, I think, is amazing. Can you say hi? 5 had elements that I really liked, but overall felt really clunky. But where it ended, 
with Cortana becoming like the new villain and taking control of all the, uh, you know, um, forerunner technology things and, and the guardians. I was like, oh, where is this going to go? And I love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? See you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. This is Halo? Who's the main character? It's not Master Chief. Signal detected. Dude, you're having a day, aren't you? Friendly. Huh. Where is this guy trapped? Like, I mean, I, I, maybe he's trapped somewhere? He's in a ship, but there's like... Is he just drifting? Is he out of... This is UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? Huh. Pelican 216. This is UNSC... Whoa. Is M Master Chief just floating in space? What the heck happened? Whoa, I just got like the chills, man. Look how big he is. He's so Spartans are so big. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to override. Okay. Oh, what is what is happening? There. I guess Cortana probably ready. took the war to the world, the dead. universe, and probably took a lot of people out. This guy's probably left stranded away from his his unit, um, trying to survive, wondering if his family's still alive. Like, could you imagine if this is like post? End of the universe by Cortana? Yes! Yes! We're going home! <laughs> oh, welcome back, Chief. You know who he is? I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Is that his Cortana? AI not detected. Yeah, that's right. He has no Cortana. Oh, easy there, big guy. You're not. Status report. Status oh. report. Oh. What? There's something you need to see, Chief. Ah. I'm loving the hell out of this. What does he need to see? They were supposed to protect the a, a halo. They were supposed to protect one at, at, at the end of five. They were talking about it. That Cortana might go to a halo ring. No, we need to fight. Get ready. What are you guys gonna fight? What a teaser, man. That's awesome, though. I got like a million questions. Uh oh. No way. I chose you because you were special. Come on. right what what <laughs> does cortana come back i mean do, do you still got a fighter does he does he have like a, a version of her that he can save um man oh man 
Yeah. All right. So that's uh, that's the conference. It looks like they're just going to play out this outro with a bunch of clips from all the the game stuff. So anyway, I know we jumped around a little bit there. I just wanted to kind of keep this short, like you know, around thirty minutes or so, um, and just put in the reactions that I feel like I had the most reactions to. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If there was games we skipped over that you want to at least hear my thoughts on, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll talk about them down there. I'll, I'll share my thoughts on them. But I, yeah, I didn't have big reactions for a lot of the stuff on here. Um, but I was intrigued by a lot. And I got to say, a lot of the indie games looked really cool. Um, you know, Borderlands that they're doing, like, uh, you know, the the all the stuff Bandai and Amco are doing. Like, they, they looked like there was some cool stuff out there. This thing by George R.R. R. Martin, um, that looks like it could be cool. But, I mean, it was such a teaser that I got no information really from it it just looked like a cool epic dramatic piece but i was like eh, i don't need i'm not gonna react to that you know and then obviously the announcement of the scarlet that's pretty cool i will probably get one most likely i imagine um as long as i'm you know still working where i'm like at lego and I'm, I'm still making you know okay money at least you know maybe next year i'll you know um pre-order sorry pre-order um you know the system and then and slowly pay it off until it comes out because uh, that'll probably be the best way I can do it, the only way I can really do it. So um, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think? The Scarlet, the announcement, Halo Infinite, um, the other games we, you know, you know, showed that I showed my reactions to, and the games I didn't. If you have anything, that, any feedback from this conference that you saw yourself, let me know down in the comments below, and we'll continue our conversation down there. And obviously, if you didn't watch this press conference in its entirety, please click the link down below to GameSpot Trailers. The whole hour and a half is up there. I, like I said, I edited mine down because I only reacted uh, strongly to a couple things, but I want to hear what you guys think. So watch the whole press conference if you haven't seen it, and let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.